Uh, good morning, my friends. Uh, hope you are very well. Uh, today we will continue uh, with uh, other uh, part of our course. Uh, we have uh, my gas migration. We know that the gas has less density uh, than uh, the mud. So uh, the density of the gas may be 2 ppg. While for the mud, it could be uh, uh, 10, 11, 12, uh, maybe 14 ppg. So the gas, as is, it is lighter than the mud, what will happen here? It will try to migrate up the hole. From here, from the formation, it will enter into the bottom hole. Then it will migrate up hole. Now we have two cases in this case. Either it will migrate with the well is closed in. In this case, the volume will stay the same. The volume will it stay the same. Uh, why? Because the well is closed in. But the pressure here is transferred from the bottom hole up, up, up till the surface. And this is very dangerous. Why? Because the casing shoe may, uh, may be broken. In this case, what, sh what shall we do? We have to open the well in a control manner and circulate it out. When we open the well, what will happen to the pressure? It will drop down. When it drops down, what will happen? If we see yesterday's uh, formula, we call it Boyle's law, if you remember. P1 V1 equals P2 V2. So yesterday, if you remember that, the quarter barrel here, volume, how much was it at the surface? 65 barrel, right? 65 barrel. So P1 V1, here we have high pressure. So the gas is compressed. In this case, we uh, uh, compress it and the volume is low. While if it is going up and the well is open, in this case, at the surface, we saw that the pressure is one atmosphere, right? 14.7 PSI. In this case, if it is 14.7, the volume of quarter barrel, it became how many barrels? Mehmet Bay, 65 barrel you remember rashid bay rashid yeah. excellent so uh, 65 barrel so we have to take care of this and when the gas uh, reaches to the surface it acts as if you are taking a blowout right 65 barrel of gas is pushing in front of it 65 barrel of mud this is very dangerous. If we don't control it, what will happen? Then we may lose the control. So the speed of this migration of the gas influx, it depends on what? It depends on the mud property, this one. What are the properties of the mud? The weight and viscosity. So uh, it is related to the weight of the mud and the viscosity of the mud. It uh, depends only uh, also on the whole angle. If the well is deviated, highly deviated, uh, horizontal, vertical, all of these, it depends on it. Uh, the gas cannot expand. This one, the gas cannot expand. So it will, when the well is closed in. So we have two cases. If the well is closed in and if the well is open and we circ circulate it out. So if the well is closed in, the gas will not expand. So the volume of the gas will stay the same, but it carries with it, what it will carry? It will carry the formation pressure from bottom upwards to the surface. You see? In this case, what will happen? The shot casing pressure will increase, and also bottom hole pressure here will increase, right? Also, if we don't have a float valve here, what will happen? Also, the drill pipe, shot and drill pipe pressure will increase. Right? I will repeat it down. I repeat it again. Now, if uh, we mentioned two cases, if the gas, if the well is shot in, and if the well is a flow uh, is open, and we circulate out the gas uh, influx. 
In this case, if the well is shut in, the volume will stay the same, but the pressure of the formation will go up with the gas influx, will go up from here to the surface, right? In this case, what will happen to the casing pressure, shutting casing pressure? It will increase, of course. What will happen if shutting casing pressure increases? What will happen to the bottom hole pressure? Also, it will increase. Suppose that here in the drill pipe, you don't have float valve. What will happen to the shutting drill pipe pressure, Mehmet Bey? Increase. Ah, excellent. Increase. Increase. Very nice. So these, we have to take care of them. In this case, if all of these increase, where is the risk? On what? What is the weakest point in the well? Who can guess? Shoe. Shoe. Excellent. The casing shoe. The casing shoe, this one. It might be 9 and 5 8. Right? If we yes. if we drill here uh, with 8 and half, this will be 9 and 5 8. Very nice. So, if this casing shoe is broken, what is the risk in this case? What is the risk in this case if it is broken. Causing uh, water crossing the hole. Ah, uh, there will be leaking, oh. leaking here. Yes. The whole mud will go into the frog area, which is casing shoe, yes. and this is very, very dangerous. In this case, and hydrostatic pressure will go down. Will go down. Excellent. You are very right. Uh, I am very happy to hear that from you. Now, you look at the uh, pressure, you see the pressure here, uh, we see it that it goes up, 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 this is the shutting uh, drill pipe pressure, then it will stabilize this way, you see it, it will stabilize this way, after that, we monitor that, observe that the gas is migrating up, it will not stay like this, you see horizontal, it will go a little bit up, up, up. You see it? So, there is a question. He tells us, if what, uh, where is this straight away, the pressure, uh, the pressure coming? It is coming from the formation, this one. Then it stabilizes this way, horizontal line. Then it will go up slowly, slowly. In this case, what is the reason of this going up slowly, slowly? What is the answer? Gas migration. Right? We'll see it. You see stabilized. Then, uh, this is gas migration. You see it? Because the gas, you see the gas here? Look at it. If you connect between this and this. Then, you see, when it goes up more than this line, you see it? it will go up. You see it? This one. And so on. So if this goes up and up, this is shutting, casing pressure, what will happen? There will be more pressure on the casing shoe. This one. Casing shoe. If we have more pressure, it will be broken. So here is the risk on the casing shoe. Look at it, please. You see more. You see more gas migration all of this is but slowly slowly but here in this case it is coming from the formation it is rapid rapid increase while here we have a slow increase you see the difference this question comes in the exam he asks you what what's uh, the meaning of this fast or rapid increase and what's the meaning of this you say this is coming from the formation and this is coming from the gas migration you see now it will reach to the casing shoe. Look at it. Uh, when? Uh, now let us uh, move on to uh, how to deal with it. This is the gas migration. If we keep it closed and it will migrate, what will happen? There will be high risk that the uh, casing shoe will be broken. In this case, we will put ourselves in trouble. So what is the best way to avoid such a problem or such risk, what is? 
Rashid Bey, Mr. Rashid. Keep it migrate by itself or do circulation. Mehmet Bey. God is uh, up to uh, try to up uh, upward and the pressure is increased. Ah, so it is better to do circulation of the gas influx, yes. right? And open the well here, open the well here to allow it to expand. And there is the gas. gas. It will uh, get it will get out and we will uh, be in safe situation. So let us see. Now it is 500 shut and drill pipe pressure, and we have here gas gas influx. You will see the well is shut in and stabilized. Then the next slide. What is it? You see? Now it is where gas migrates here. And the well is shut in, right? Then the shut in drill pipe pressure increases. You see it is increasing. In this case, it will reach to the casing shoe and we will put this in at risk. So what is the best method to, you see, to bleed and open the chop manifold? You see, we have to open the chop manifold and do circulation. Same as what Mehmet Bey said. So we have to do circulation. Look at this one, bleed mud through the chop, chop manifold allowing gas to expand this one keeping shutting drill pipe pressure at original value you see it went up to 600 but now we circulate but we keep this one at original value it is at 600 500 so we uh, bleed it off uh, till we get and in this case we can reduce the bottom hole pressure you see it this is a bleed we didn't do circulation yet, only bleed off, but a bleed off in a controlled manner. How the original shut and drill pipe pressure, how much was it? 500. It uh, went up to 600 when the well is closed in and it will go up and up. But in our case, what did we do? We bleed off from the choke manifold. We allow the gas to migrate up, but the shut and drill pipe pressure will stay the, at the original value 500 psi clear my friends clear yes excellent now the influx characteristics and behavior we will see this is the gas migration uh, i think we saw this slide let us uh, jump now we have two types uh, of mud right water-based mud and oil-based mud so what is the difference between water-based mud and oil-based mud who can give me the, the difference solubility of air the gas water-based mud uh, more solid, solid gas than the oil-based i think okay so so uh, the gas you mean it will not mix with water-based mud right it yes. it will stay separate excellent so this is the answer it will separate while in oil-based mud the gas will mix with the mud uh, this is uh, what you want to say right yes sir. excellent i don't say that <laughs> I, I think only yes 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 very nice so we will see that we have many differences we have six differences between water-based mud and oil-based mud let us start with water-based mud the gas stays at a separate phase same as what uh, Mehmet Bey said it will stay separate mud alone and gas alone number two reduction in bottom hole pressure is greater why why greater? Because uh, the gas has less density than the water-based mud. So when we replace the mud 
water based mud when we put instead of it gas influx what will happen to the bottom wall pressure it will go down it will be less in this case uh, there will be more reduction in the bottom wall pressure number three easier to detect when you see gas influx straight away you will see that we get it why because it doesn't mix with the mud so five barrel you will see five barrel straight away uh, higher shot and casing pressure why because the hydrostatic pressure will be less how can we com uh, com uh, compensate uh, this less bottom hole pressure to uh, make the bottom hole pressure uh, constant we have to get more shot and casing pressure at surface we don't put it it appears by itself so we don't put uh, uh, us shot and casing pressure it appears on the gauge of the casing it by itself expansion in the beginning uh, slow then it is very fast uh, higher initial pit gain because it doesn't mix with the mud so we see that we have a higher initial pit gain uh, than the oil based mud now let us move on to the oil based mud this is oil based mud my friends uh, gas go into solution so the gas will mix with the oil based mud it will mix with it reduction in bottom hole the pressure is smaller why because the gas is mixing with the oil based mud it will be part one phase it will be uh, more difficult to detect you cannot uh, say that i have gas influx or not because it will be part of the mud lower shot and casing pressure uh, expansion in the beginning there is no uh, expansion at all then we have very fast when the bubble point is reached to the surface a lower initial pit gain when we have a pit gain in the beginning maybe half barrel or one barrel while in the water based mud we may have five barrel or ten barrel so here is difference so these uh, uh, differences uh, come in the exam so please if you just understand what's the difference between them this is the summary my friends so please you can focus on them and see uh, what are the differences till here any question any question uh, arkadaşlar i want to say something yes my friend my friend uh, are there any formulas uh, between uh, bottom hole pressure uh, shutting casing pressure and uh, shutting drill pipe pressure any formula between related with each other no no formula uh, as you have as you have influx in the annulus in this case there will be reduction in the bottom hole uh, hydrostatic pressure right yeah. it will be less in this case there will be more shutting casing pressure to make the bottom hole pressure constant clear i will repeat it for you now no, no, uh, clear no, very nice in this case uh, we have to make the shot in drill pipe pressure same same at original uh, value why because we have a float valve at in the bha of the drill string this float valve will prevent any gas to go from the uh, outside of the bit to the inside of the drill string right in this case we have one phase only while in the annulus we have two phases gas and mud in for this uh, reason we see that the hydrostatic pressure of this will be less so bottom hole pressure is then in the annulus because of that short increasing phases not because no 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 wait wait with me wait i will repeat it now my friend i have a drill pipe a drill string i have one fluid which is what mud right 
there is no problem with it so we have one phase and we have original shot in drill pipe pressure you have no problem at it uh, with it then we move to the annulus annulus what does it have it has mud plus gas excellent the gas density is more or less less how much it is 2 ppg almost the density of the mud how much is it say 14 or 13 9 10 9 10 uh, whatever in this case bottom the formula bottom hole pressure what does it equal tell me Plus, plus surface pressure, plus surface pressure, plus surface pressure, which is which is shutting casing pressure, right? We have this formula or not? We have this formula or not? Write it down, please. Which? Bottom hole pressure. Okay, no problem. I have a formula sheet. No, no. Yeah, not here. Not here. But I tell you, bottom hole pressure equals, write it down with you, please. Please yes. yes. Bottom hole pressure equals hydrostatic pressure yes. plus yes. shutting yes. shutting casing pressure. Yes. I want you. Sorry? At the bottom of the way. Uh, uh, yes, it is constant. This one is constant. Yes, constant. Hydrostatic is down because of that starting casing pressure is up. You are very nice. Gozal, Chok Gozal. You got it now. I want to see. This is true? Yes, true. Yes. So, the hydrostatic, hydrostatic pressure in the first case, it is only for mud. Exactly. Now, excellent, excellent. In this case, the second case, the hydrostatic pressure will be less than the original or more. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. In this case, hydrostatic pressure when we have gas, it will be less or more than the original case. Yeah. Less. How can you compensate it to make the bottom hole pressure constant? There will be more shot in casing pressure. It's, yes, it's, uh, it's, it's equal to the shot in casing pressure. Excellent. Now clear for you? Any question, Mr. Thank Rashid? You. Thank you, my friend. No, thank you. Uh, Mr. Taha, do you have any question, please? No, thank you. Shukran. Uh, Murat Bey, you have any question? Murat Bey? Anyway, now gas behavior. Look at it. Now we come to circulation. Now the well will be open. We see that we have here a risk when the well is closed in and the gas migrates up the hole. How can we avoid this? We can avoid it by circulating the gas influx out. You do that or uh, don't do that, Mehmet Bey. Circulate the gas out. Yes, we do. You do it, excellent. This is the safest way. But if you uh, keep the gas migrate by itself, it will cause a problem for us. Okay, now... Exactly, you get the gas out and you can retrieve the primary barrier, which is mud. Excellent, excellent. Now the gas expands. We have to know this information. Gas expands as it is circulated up the hole. Why expands? Because we open the well. If you open the well, then the pressure will be less. If you go to Boyle's law, P1V1 equals P2V2. If the P2 drops down the v2 will go up it will expand so its volume will increase this is number one number two gas expansion 
reduces hydrostatic that we are talking just now about it gas expansion because it's the de its density is 2 ppg while the mud is 9 or 10 ppg in this case we will get less hydrostatic pressure number three casing back pressure increases why increases to compensate for reduction in hydrostatic this is what me and you we are explaining it just now it will increase to condensate to make the uh, bottom hole pressure constant it is an equation so the equation is bottom hole pressure equals hydrostatic pressure plus shot in casing pressure so if hydrostatic pressure decreases then the shot in casing pressure increases uh, if kill is carried out correctly if we are killing the well and circulate the uh, casing uh, the gas influx correctly what will happen my friends the pressure at e any point above the gas influx will be increasing uh, above the gas influx there will be uh, it will be increasing the pressure this is number one we have to know this as gas passes then a pressure drops a small amount when the gas passes at a certain uh, point for example casing shoe at the casing shoe the pressure is say 3000 psi when it passes this casing shoe the casing shoe pressure will stay the same we have to understand this because there is a question in the exam he asks you what happens what is the risk if the gas influx passes the casing shoe in this case uh, the pressure will stay will drop a little bit then it will stay the same so after uh, the gas influx reaches above the casing shoe there will be no risk on the casing shoe why because the pressure at the casing shoe will stay the same if it stays the same there is no problem for the casing shoe number three a pressure at any point below the influx it will stay the same constant also this is what i am talking about so if the gas passes the casing shoe or any point then uh, uh, any point above the gas influx will stay the same will stay constant so the question uh, comes to us in the exam he tells us what will happen to the pressure at the casing shoe after the gas influx passes the casing shoe what is your answer it will be stay the same or increase it will stay the same if you read this one please this one read it Mehmet Bey I don't hear you you mute sorry I think it will be same exactly excellent Look, uh, read this one read this sentence please Mehmet Bey pressure at any point below the will be constant ah so when it passes there is no problem for casing shoe or any point other point clear excellent yes. this slide is very important we have to understand it don't memorize anything just to understand it because the question that comes to you it will be uh, very easy for you now look at this guys here we will study uh, the uh, general rules for gas look at this one please the gas is here then next step gas expands as it is circulated up the hole why because the well will be open right we open the well gas expansion reduces the hydrostatic pressure we agreed on that do you remember Mehmet Bey? Yes. excellent next yes. casing pressure or back pressure increases why to compensate for reduction in hydrostatic also this we agreed on it if kill is carried out correctly look at this here is the casing shoe look at it it will as the gas here is uh, say the pressure is 2000 psi this one 
say suppose 2000 psi the pressure at any point above the influx will increase above the influx will increase so look at the casing shoe we are standing here me and uh, Mehmet Bey we are observing the pressure at the casing shoe look at the gas it is here now it is 2000 psi when it moves from here till here what will happen to this it will go up 3000 psi this one look at it ah you see look clear my friend excellent yes. now if we go up more look ah uh, more then ah uh, here is the maximum here is the maximum it will not go more than that then what will happen look at it it will drop a little bit it drop a little bit maybe 100 psi then it will stay constant you see this one it will drop a little bit when the gas passes above it so as gas passes the shoe pressure drops this the shoe pressure drops what small amount maybe 50 psi 100 psi small amount due to the change in whole geometry here then it will stay the same it will not change look at it uh, you see look at it any change here look at it from here there is no change look the pressure at any point below this gas influx will stay the same pressure at any point below the gas influx will be constant this one clear excellent yes. now look at it no change here then we get the gas out now the effect of expansion the effect of expansion in an open well what is the effect of expansion here the gas expands what is the effect on it look at it in the beginning we have this one if you look at this one this is the formation what is this we have formation pressure and hydrostatic pressure this is the hydrostatic pressure and this is the formation pressure we have 200 psi this one you see it? then if the gas moves up the volume will be double you see and we have it here let us move continue now bottom hole pressure this is bottom hole pressure you see it my friends in the red we have it the for uh, what is it the formation pressure the red one this one here for a uh, bottom hole pressure now if the gas goes up what will happen to the bottom hole pressure it will go down or up the, look at this one it goes down. down excellent if it goes up more the volume will be more it expands what we, you see there is tank here so the volume increases increases in this case when it increases the volume what will happen here the bottom hole pressure will go down more suppose that we continue you see we continue here the bottom hole pressure will go down more right and the volume here will will increase the volume and the bottom hole pressure will increase uh, will decrease this one let us continue uh, here what happens here you see it this one we see that the gas volume this one becomes 16 times the original value here suppose it is one barrel here how many barrels it is 16 you see it and what happens to the pressure the this one black one is the bottom hole pressure what happens to it it uh, the red, for formation pressure is the red one right equal it will be same same then the next step what will happen here next step who can guess let me uh, here we have double volume in this case the bottom hole pressure this black one will be lower than the formation pressure am i right lower yes. uh, very nice so it is lower than the 
formation pressure this one there will be influx or not influx this is additional influx second influx clear my friend why because yes. the bottom hole pressure okay. this one becomes less than the formation pressure in the red one clear shall i repeat it or uh, no need no no need very nice for me very nice uh, mr rashid uh, it is okay. easy for you right it's okay excellent let us move uh, influx size versus shoe pressure now if the influx size is more what will happen there will be more risk to the casing shoe or less risk who can answer me more risk excellent excellent so the driller the driller tries to shut in the well as early as possible quickly don't wait uh, for the ds or tool pusher to give him orders and uh, do this do this uh, they may be sleeping like this so he has he is authorized to shut in the well if he sees that there is influx in the well why to reduce to minimize the volume of the influx then he can um, uh, inform the drink supervisor and the tool pusher now Look at this one, my friends. Here we have influx. You see it. This one. And here we have casing shoe at 5,000 feet. Here we have mud, 10 ppg. The casing shoe at this point, how much is it? It is 2,900. Here, shutting casing pressure, it is 300 psi. Can you calculate? The bottom hole pressure here, calculate it please. You have 10 ppg and you have here 5,000 feet. We have to calculate the hydrostatic pressure or bottom hole pressure here at the casing shoe. Let us calculate it please. Uh, 2,600. 2,600. This is hydrostatic yeah, pressure. Excellent, excellent, right, you are right. If you add the shutting casing pressure, 300, what is the total? No, I think uh, 2,900. Excellent. Now, clear, where does this come from? Shoe. So, at the shoe. So, hydrostatic pressure is 2,600. If you add the shutting casing pressure 300, it will be 2,900. It is clear now, right? Okay. Yes. Now the gas influx. Look at the gas influx here. Now, what, do, what happens here? The gas influx expands. You see it? It expands here. In this case, when it expands, what happens when it expands? The casing pressure will increase or decrease? Mr. Rashid. The casing pressure is increased. Ah, why? Excellent. Why? To compensate the drop in the hydrostatic pressure. You understand the idea now? Yes. Excellent. It increased how many PSI? 300 PSI, right? Then this was 2,900. How many PSI we have to add to this one? 2,900, how many? If you, the, uh, if you uh, subtract 600 minus 300, 600 this one minus 300, how much is it? 400. 600 minus 300, how much? 300. 300. Now 2,900 plus 300. How much is it? 3,200. What is this? Rashid, Mr. Rashid. 3,200. We understand now where they, did it yeah. come from? Yep. Can you repeat it please for me? This is it and uh, casing pressure is come up. 
Yes. Uh, uh, my, minus to the, uh, my, my friend, minus. my friend, uh, please, if you explain the whole slide from the beginning, from here, tell me how did we calculate this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Yes. No, no, you are a trainer. You have to explain. Next course, you have to deliver the course, right? I am sure. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yes, go ahead, please. I will help you. Here we have influx. Influx, yeah. Yes, and we have uh, here, as, as a result of the influx, there is a drop in the hydrostatic pressure, right? What will compensate the drop in the hydrostatic pressure, the shutting casing pressure, this one? It increased by 300. So how can we calculate the pressure at the casing shoe? The pressure at the casing shoe equals hydrostatic pressure plus shutting casing pressure, right? Yeah, plus uh, 300, yeah. 300, yes. Now, hydrostatic pressure from surface till 5,000. How much is it? 5,000 times 10 times 0 0.052. Our friend uh, Mehmet Bey told us it is 2,600. If we add 300, it will be 2,900. This, we understood it. The next step, when the gas expands, this gas expands and it is like this. The hydrostatic pressure will be more or less in the well. More. If this expands, this one, there is more gas. So more gas and less. less excellent. Uh, so more gas and less mud. So the hydrostatic pressure will be less. If hydrostatic pressure is less, the casing pressure will go up or down. Excellent, excellent. It increased by 300 PSI, this one. So the 2,900, how much will be? If we add 300, it will be? 3,200. Very nice. It is now very easy. Kulayma. Mehmet Bey, Murat Bey, Kulayma, Mr. Taha, uh, clear for you, my friend, clear, uh, now, very nice, uh, casing shoe pressure, uh, till here, do you have any question, my friends, do you have any question, can I ask you any question? You don't ask me, I, I don't ask you. Better it is. What? What do you say? Okay. You can ask? Yes. 